Hey guys, this is gonna be a weird build. This is Twister's build that are coming from the Sakawals vlog helmet. And I did this build, uh, sort of similar build in the past couple times and I felt like it was time to do it again because with the Crucible modifiers you can get more reduced skill effect duration which is to increase the proc rate. So this is not really, I would say, a real build. It does have good damage against the uh, Guardians for example but it has zero defenses, like none. No mitigation whatsoever. Even the damage, I don't know what my current DPS is because it's not just the twisters, I have another thing. And the main damage is not even twisters. The main damage is actually even bugged. <laughs> it's actually doing more damage than it should be because of the Skitterbots and Choir of the Storm unique amulet, which triggers level 30 lightning bolt when you deal critical strike. So this is also assassin, but I do have forbidden jewels to gain trigger bots. Now, trigger bots, yes, we, we should, and I believe someone posted a link that it is a reported bug. The Choir of the Storm, the Lightning Bolt, is triggered from the trigger bots, but it's not getting less damage multiplier. So it's actually just straight up triggering twice with full damage. The Choir of the Storm does have a half second cooldown, in my case it's 0.4 second. Now, the way this works, the Twisters from Sakwal's flock trigger a level 20 Twisters when you gain Avian's Might or Avian's Flight. And the Avian's Flight and Avian's Might are usually in the unique boots, but with enough reduced duration you don't actually need these boots. The boots with the high negative duration are always expensive, boots and gloves. But you can craft the aspect on let's say boots or gloves or something else, but you do want something that has sockets. Because you can socket it with less duration and swift affliction. Now the aspect of, of the Avian essentially rotates two buffs. It has 4, I believe, second base duration and you want to reduce that uh, 4 second base duration as much as possible. In my case, it's actually lasting uh, 0.16 seconds. So you can actually see uh, these buff rotate very quickly. Each time these buff rotate, you're going to proc the twisters. It, it no longer procs in hideout because it was just too annoying. But if you go somewhere else like Menagerie, you can see them uh, proccing. And they are proccing from uh, trigger bots. It does look pretty cool, but actually this build works not as good as I expected it to work, but it also does more damage than I expected it to, to do. Now another thing, I did not go for like 99% reduced duration for the uh, for, for these twisters, because reduced duration also means that these twisters don't last as long. I, I was forced to use increased duration support, uh, because twisters right now last for 1.89 seconds, but that's not accounting for the buffs on you expire faster, which I do have on one of the weapons. So for example, if I were to remove increased duration, look what happens. The twisters don't have enough time to even appear. Now they last 0.34 seconds. If you get 99% reduced duration or 98% reduced duration, which by the way, it requires a unique amulet, not Choir of the Storm, the timepiece, whatever it's called, then your twisters would also just pretty much expire almost immediately. So for this reason you also want projectile speed, and these twisters essentially work exactly like sparks, you can even use spark MTX to increase visibility I guess, but I don't like the, the sound that sparks makes. The sound is pretty annoying to me, but with this you cannot really see what's on the ground. And it's very dangerous, there are so many things that happens after you kill enemies that appear on the ground or some kind of degen ground or some kind of uh, delayed explosions and it's very easy to die. So this build only currently has 4.6 thousand life. So this is mostly lighting build, I am stacking a beast jewels as well because I'm also using Shroud of the Lightless. Uh, which does give elemental penetration which works really well because I'm also not using elemental weakness or lowering enemy resistance in any way because I am using the elemental mastery, I really like this elemental mastery which inverses enemy resistance but penetration still works. I was using sniper's mark which doesn't affect the lightning bolt which only affects uh, twisters and twisters are supposed to split, it's hard to tell if they are splitting, it does seem like we are splitting, it, it is increasing the DPS because it is a projectile and sniper's mark boost the projectile damage but it doesn't boost the lightning ball damage could use assassin's mark which is not as good damage wise but it would also boost the lightning bolts damage but i did not want to do that because i know that lightning bolt is, is currently bugged with trigger bots and it's doing already more damage than it should be so the way i'm getting enough reduced duration i currently have 85% reduced duration and a bit of less duration a bit of uh, buffs on you expire faster 
So I got boots, uh, the avian skill in, in the boots, and I have less duration in here, and I have swift affliction. Swift affliction doesn't doesn't matter what level; it's always gonna give 25% less duration. And the less duration support gem quality matters and levels matter. So we do want to increase the, uh, both levels and quality as much as possible. Then two rings time class. We can roll up to 20% reduced skill effect duration. Uh, if I remove one, you can observe that the proc rate is much lower now. Then on the weapon you can get 10% reduced skill uh, effect duration. On one-handed weapons it rolls up to 10, on two-handed I believe it rolls up to 15 or 20. And you can also roll like uh, spell crit chance, flare damage to spells, increase spell damage. You can also roll uh, buffs on you expire 10% faster. You cannot get that on a shield, so you are kind of forced to, to, to play dual wheel. So that removes another defensive layer which is block. And the rest of the reduced duration is on the passive skill tree. You get these and then you get mastery for 10% less duration. The forbidden jewels were pretty cheap, like one and a half divine each. So I spent like three divines, maybe maybe a bit less than three divines on uh, two jewels to get the skitter boards. The lightning bolt, I cannot verify if lightning bolt actually strikes twice, but I can verify that the trigger boards do not affect lightning bolt's damage. Like if I, if I were to remove forbidden flame, nothing changes. But if I look at the twisters and remove it, you can see that it is changing. It's getting damaged because it's no longer getting 5% less damage per trigger. And for the conversion, I am using uh, anomalous physical lighting inside the helmet. Uh, increased crit damage support actually turns out to give me the most damage, not flare damage anymore. Increased duration is kind of needed without it. It just doesn't doesn't even have twi uh, twitters. <laughs> doesn't even have uh, twisters. And then diversion greater volley because you do one projectile speed. Another conversion uh, is on the gloves. I, I got these gloves with 30% conversion into lighting. You would want implicit, but implicit can also roll lighting leech, which you also need, and uh, a nerve. A nerve is also a big damage increase. On the passive skill tree, I also try to get a bit more projectile speed. Without projectile speed, we, we don't really travel very far, and it just feels bad for mapping. Another thing for skitter boards, I kind of expected them to run ahead of me towards the enemies, but they often get stuck behind and they are pretty slow. I am trying to use convocation on left click with the increased duration. Yeah, I am using anomalous convocation, which above grants 40% uh, increased movement speed for minutes. However, because I'm stacking so much reduced duration, all the buffs that I could have last for just a fraction of a second or less. So this one with increased duration only lasts 1.42 seconds. If I were to remove increased duration, it only lasts 0.27 seconds. Pretty much life tap everything because I am reserving all of my mana pretty much. And you also have to add increased duration support to pretty much anything that has duration. So I don't even have guard skill because it would, wouldn't really last very long. So as you can see, the build is all sorts of um, weird. Either way, I'm gonna leave path of building in port code in video description if you want to check it out. But remember that path of building does have correct numbers on lightning bolt. Anyway, I don't know how to end this video. Don't play this build or do, but don't expect to be tanky. I don't know, and the clear speed isn't that great, and the single target may be worse if we fix the if we fix the amulet. I haven't decided the next build, so if you got some interesting build ideas, leave them in the comments below. I have some ideas, but uh, nothing too concrete, so I'm not too sure what build I'm gonna be doing next. Possibly even again something with uh, trigger boards, which may or may not be worse than this. So anyway, thank you for watching, and I will see you in the next one. Bye bye.